tried to let us go, where you're given an angle congruent, another angle congruent, side congruent, but instead of saying you're trying to prove that triangles are congruent, you're asked to prove that a segment is congruent. Well, let's do that here. I'm going to change this here. Excuse me, just prove. <coughs> I want to add one more color. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry, I don't appear to have another color. So we'll do it here. I want to change my proof here. Right now, I'm trying to prove the triangles are congruent. Right? change this whole problem. Instead, I want to prove that AC is congruent to EC. Uh, no, excuse me, it's congruent to DC. Does that change my whole world here? What do you think, Aaron? Well, if you establish that the two triangles are congruent, then that means that all the sides, all the corresponding sides and angles are congruent to each other, so it's just like adding one more step. Right. If two triangles are congruent, then we know that all corresponding sides and all corresponding angles are also congruent, right? So really, it's just first prove the triangles are congruent, and then add one step to say, not that all, correspond that all pieces are the same, but that corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Does that make sense to you? That corresponding parts of congruent triangles like AC and DC are also congruent. Sure seems like a lot to write. So that would be the reason of this. So the reason is CPCTC. This is part of try 13. This is what makes it a more complicated proof. Because you have to see that in order to get to this information, first you prove the triangles are congruent, then take one more step just saying corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. CPCTC. Question. Uh, on the flow proof, would you like just have it the the congruent C step have another arrow into C P C P C? Exactly. From this triangle congruence, you expect to make one more statement. That's it. Triangles are congruent. Now, any time you say CP, CTC, the arrow comes from what? What information do you have to have before we can use CP, CTC? That what are congruent? That the two triangles are congruent. So for all these proofs, what you're going to be using is AAS or ASA or SSS or SAS to say the triangles are congruent, then one more step to say because of that, I can say that these corresponding parts are also congruent using CPCDs. So the three triangles are arrows that still go into the black box, but then you have one more arrow going into that? Correct, because the contingency, okay. the information that makes this true is the fact that the triangles are congruent. The information that makes this true is these three congruent pieces. Who's with me on CPCTC? Five got it. Three getting it. One missed it. CPCTC. 